Hey everybody, I'm going to show you in this video how to install some of these type of tuners. They have these pins on here on a neck that doesn't have any pins yet, or holes for the pins rather. So the story on this guitar is that one of my students, his aunt and uncle, bought this guitar for him. And they want to upgrade it so it actually is a little bit more playable and tunable. The ones that came on and weren't so hot. I had a lot of play on and stuff. And so I did a fret job on it to make them all nice and playable. And we're going to put these on here. Here's how you're going to do this without a drill. You do need the drill bit. This is 3 30 seconds, which is the same size as the pin. So get a 3 30 seconds drill bit. If you have some drill bits and you're not sure which one's 3 30 seconds, you can compare it to the pin. If you have a ruler, you can measure it. So we're talking about how uh, fat it is. So what you do is you get a ruler and a pencil. Sorry, yeah, you need a ruler too. So you take a ruler and a pencil and you draw lines that are along the edge of the hole. I put an additional line. And you place the tuning machine in there. Now, you may find that you stick it in there and it's kind of loose. And you're like, oh, how am I going to get this straight? Get some masking tape wrapped around the shaft and get it till it's just the right amount of thickness. I start with extra, test, peel back, rip off, peel back, rip off, until it just slides right in snug. Line this up with the lines you drew. It's pretty easy to do. You eyeball it, line it up, press it down, make it sure it's square, use the lines to help you, until the two pins push into the wood and firmly press it in. Take it out, there should be two little dents. On those two dents, take the drill bit, Line it up with the little dent, right? This hole's not done yet. I got the idea for the video as I was doing this. I was like, this might be helpful for people. So there's a little, you can see there's a little teeny mark. See it? That's the dent from the thing. So you take the drill bit, make sure it's sharp. If it's not sharp enough or you're not sure, well, you'll find out real fast because this won't work if it's not sharp. You take a piece of very, very fine sandpaper or a nail file, and you can sharpen the drill bit by twirling it backwards angling it perfectly with the tips. See there's a little bevel on it? Just line it up there and twirl it backwards a little bit. It'll make it sharp. You know, especially if you're just doing this for one job and you don't know what the heck you're gonna use this drill bit for ever again. So, you line it up with the hole, the little divot, place it in there, line up with the dent, hold the drill bit, and just simply twirl it. And it will start cutting into there. Now you may find if you have a drill drill, drill bit, you're better off just resharpening it after each hole, just twirling it backwards a little bit. But this drill bit seems to be fine. You just twirl it, twirl it, and you will dig the holes by hand. You don't need a drill. In fact, using a drill on this job is kind of, I don't know, kind of asking for it. You're probably going to mess it up. So you just drill them out, and once you get them, you test with the machine, with the tuning machine, and see how deep they are. They're, these line up perfectly, but they're not deep enough yet. So let's make them deeper, and then I'll do that, repeat that process. So hopefully this is helpful for you. If you want to install some of these type of tuners that have pins on a neck that didn't have it, and you didn't own a drill, and you were intimidated by it. It's really easy to do, All right? Pencil, ruler, masking tape, drill bit, 330 seconds. Good luck.